Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, November 4th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we had an interesting day yesterday where we gapped lower, but the bulls, those bulls came in and they ruled the day pushing things back up and particularly in some uh, some interesting sectors really had a lot of energy in them yesterday pushing up. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle in. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Hopefully you can hear my voice is a little bit stronger today. Still a little bit rough, but I am feeling better. So thank you everyone for all of the kind um, wishes of wellness and um, in the comments. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look here and see what we've got going here in the chart. Well, first off, I, I want to continue to mention this. We, we still want to keep in mind that we have significant overhead resistance in the chart. And as a matter of fact, if I draw this line in here and this line in here, you can see we do have pretty significant levels of price resistance here above in the Dow chart. So we'll want to be keeping a close eye on that. But that said, if we look at the short term of the chart, well, we're trying to push back up. We didn't really fix anything yesterday with that rally, noticing that we kind of broke that trend um, in the chart. And obviously we broke down below that little um, resistance area in the chart or support area in the chart. But the good news is, is we held on to support across this area in that chart. So the diamonds is trying to hold on to this bullish move here. But what we will want to be watching is for that potential that we could run into a, a lower high situation in the market where we bounce back up, we hit some resistance in that chart, and then we have that opportunity of potential reversal. So if those bulls can continue to stay inspired, look for a resistance level maybe in here to provide a little bit of a blockage for a more upside move. Or if we have enough bullish activity in here and the numbers continue to um, inspire those bulls, if we press out right on through that area up here, then I would look for a retest of this resistance in the chart. And that's a pretty big stretch here for um, uh, a Friday, but it's certainly possible if the numbers help support that. So watch that carefully. Now, if we were to take a look at our technicals here in the chart, remember that right above here, about where I marked out that resistance level, we're also going to smack right back into that 200 day moving average that could provide that resistance. And we do want to realize that it, it we are so extended in the short term move of the diamonds that it really wouldn't be odd if we were to drift sideways or even catch that pullback to come back toward that 50 day moving average. Um, just, you know, the drift sideways would be just to allow those shorter term averages to kind of catch up um, in that chart. If we were to take a look at our spy, however, well, spy's not nearly as bullish of a picture. We still have that big downtrend in play, but notice we've, we're a long ways away from testing that uh, upper level in that downtrend. And what we've got going on here is a much more bearish situation. If you'll notice what we did um, here on Friday as we broke that upside trend, and we also failed a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart. So if the bulls can continue to push through this morning, if we can find that inspiration, I look for this area to provide a bit of a resistance here in the chart. And if we can push on through there, well then just keep in mind, we have some pretty big levels in here that we're going to have to deal with once again if we start pushing back up. And that might be a bit of a tall order 
um, considering the pressure that we're seeing in the NASDAQ itself. Um, our technicals here in the chart will want to also make note of the fact that we have a pretty strong moving average accumulation right here around that 50 day. So that rally back up to the 50 day could easily create that resistance level in the chart and see us maybe pushing back lower or consolidating this upside move for a little bit. So watch that closely. Now the QQQ is where my real concern lies here in the market. And unfortunately we have some data this morning that's not helping that situation. If you take a look at our two year bonds this morning, our two year bonds are up here at new 15 year highs. Um, so we're continuing to see that bond yield pressuring the NASDAQ and bonds have a significant impact on tech. So if we keep an eye on this and you'll notice we're a long ways away from recovering back up here to these highs. So we have this bit of imbalance where we've got the SPY, the S&P 500 um, showing a bit of bearishness. We've got the QQQ showing considerable bearishness and um, we've got the um, Dow Jones showing the bullishness and IWM, as I'll show you here in a minute, showing bullishness. So we've got this mix um, um, coming into play that is kind of an interesting situation for the market to deal with. Now in the QQQ, as you can see here, we gave up that upside trend. We put in a lower high. We have followed that with a lower low, and we've given up just way too many support levels in that chart, which really only leaves us this support, um, our 2022 low. Now, if we rally back up, what I would look for is we would look for these resistance areas to do their job. If we can push through this one, then look to this area for resistance in the chart. But that may be a bit of a tall order um, on a Friday when we see our bond yield rising as strongly as they are. Now, keeping in mind, if we do come back up into here, all that does is create um, a confirmation of, of that potential downtrend in the chart here on the NASDAQ. So watch carefully for that. And also remember that just because I'm, I'm trying to promote that we could maybe bounce back up because the futures are pushing that way right now. We could also slip into more of a consolidating move here. Remember, we've got quite a little bit of price resistance in this era range, so we could just end up bouncing a little bit sideways, assuming those bears don't take over. And if those bears do take over, if we were to fail in these areas, then our next area would be the 2022 lows um, to try and find some price support for the NASDAQ. If we look at our IWM, now IWM continues to hold up strong in that chart. Oh, by the way, I should go back here just really quickly. You'll notice here on our technicals in the chart, we have a pretty ugly situation here with our 50 day moving average to continuing to decline. And of course, this failure here, this lower high failure right around that area and our shorter term averages also providing that resistance above. Our um, IWM on the other hand is much more bullish um, trying to hold off of a price support level, as you can see right in here, trying to bounce up off of there. Unfortunately, we did give up that upside trend. It was a very steep upside trend, albeit. And we're going to have to, once again, deal with you know these price resistance levels in the chart as we rally back up. So we do want to look for that uh, potential that we could rally back into a price resistance area of the chart and see that failure. So if the the bulls engage, we need them to engage hard enough that they push back through that level right there. And then we could look for a retest of the high here for our next resistance level above. If those bears were to come in and find inspiration, if we were to lose this price support in here, obviously that could be a problem here for the market. Now, if we take a look at our VIX, this I thought was really interesting yesterday. Even with a big gap down yesterday and the ugliness that we're seeing from the, you know, the FOMC, the weakness that we saw in basically all of our economic numbers this week, um, 
we um, have ignored that in favor of the earnings reports and we continue to show no fear here in the market. We're pushing down toward that 25 handle area in the chart and that's a very big area in here. It'll be interesting to see if we can just give it up and push right back down through that area in the chart. So notice we've got this support area right in here. We'll have to keep a close eye on it. If we were to find that those bears re-engaging, then a bounce off of that area would be significant. But I, I am finding it quite surprising with the data that we're seeing in our economic numbers weakening, the FOMC continuing to stay um, hawkish, that we just have no fear here in um, the VIX. Kind of an interesting situation. If we take a look at our T2122, now we did get a nice relief in T2122. And for those folks that are bulls out there in the market, this should give you one of the biggest hopes because what we've done is in that selling from Wednesday and the pullback yesterday, we've relieved a lot of that overbought pressure here in the market. So we're down here around mid range. Now, keeping in mind that T2122 doesn't predict which way the market's going to go. It just tells us where we have those points of pressure here. So being right around the middle, we certainly have that opportunity if the bulls find that inspiration to rally pretty substantially back up in the chart. And then of course, if the bears, we kind of have an equal weight here um, on that potential that the bears could engage and push us down. And there may be some data today that could provide inspiration on either one of those um, outcomes. If we take a look at our T2108, the good news here on, whoops, on yesterday's selling, um, um, as you guys remember, I had mentioned that this break of this downtrend would, could provide some support here in the chart. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. We, we ran right down into this area. And overall, we just held up pretty well here in T2108. So the number of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average remains pretty darn bullish. And we've got about 53% of our stocks just hanging right in there. So we've got this support area. And if those bulls can find that inspiration and push on through here on the Friday, then we bounce off of that area. We will want to keep in mind that we are we are a little bit extended here still um, in um, the diamonds and um, IWM. So if if we can't push back through these new highs, that's where we're going to run into some trouble. But watch that close. And our T2107, very much the same situation where we have improved this so dramatically here just recently, pushing through that downtrend. Notice that that pullback yesterday did exactly what I talked about in yesterday's video. We held on to support levels in the chart. We did pull back, but we didn't give up um, too many of those um, levels of support in here. So we still have 34% of our stocks above our 200 day moving average, which you got to give that up to the bulls. They're hanging in. They're showing that defense of some lows here in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, our T2101 didn't shift momentum here um, yesterday. We continued to see that pressure with that overall ugly gap down situation in the market. But we'll want to keep an eye on this. As you'll notice, we're kind of coming into a little bit of a trend. So we could get that reversal back up here today, that little bit of a hook uh, moving us back to the upside if that momentum shifts bullishly. Now let's take a look at our economic calendar and the things that could move us around here this morning. Our economic calendar for today, kind of an um, well, a very light day, but a very important number here this morning. If you guys remember what one of the things that we've been seeing in our jobs numbers, um, ADP came in much hotter than expected. Our jobless claims numbers are not weakening as um, the Fed would like to see happen. Um, and so we have this employment situation number here this morning. That could be pretty important. Now, this is where good news can be bad news. If we have strong jobs growth, then the market will likely see that as a bearish sign that the Fed is has really got um, 
um, a clear path to continue to raise rates aggressively against inflation. If, however, we suddenly see um, um, jobless claims or, I mean, jobs numbers diminish pretty hard, that could actually be bullish for the market. We could see that um, inspiring those bulls saying, well, now the Fed is going to start backing off on their rate increases. So watch that closely here today. And then we do have a Fed speaker, if you know, as if we need that today. But watch that. Watch that close. It's going to be difficult to, uh, to, to know how that we're going to respond around that number. Now, um, on our earnings calendar today, our earnings calendar, we get a nice break. Um, although we do have oh, less than 50 companies confirmed to report, we don't have all that many uh, notables here today. So because our <laughs> our website is having a problem today and I will not be able to send you over to the blog, I'm gonna cover these really quickly this morning, those notables. Take a look at um, AMCX, AMCX reporting today. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a disappointment here in the pre-market here on AMCX, breaking a little bit lower, so watch that close. We've got Cardinal Health. Um, reporting today and they are showing some bullishness popping here a little pop and drop so far in the pre-market but as you can see nice little bullish pattern here on Cardinal Health uh, CBOE CBOE reporting today looks like we're just kind of hanging in there I can't say that they've reported just yet we're challenging some resistance in the chart so watch that we've got Dominion that will be reporting um, we have seen a recent upside rally in some of our utility stocks so keep an eye on that we're trying to move up that's a bullish pattern in here of course we have quite a bit of resistance in here in that chart that we're coming into but watch that close DKNG DKNG, a big disappointment here this morning, it looks like, in their earnings report, um, continuing to move along their downtrend here in that chart. We've got Duke Energy reporting, a little pop and drop here on Duke this morning. We've got um, FLR reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Looks like we're just seesawing here in a nice little upside trend. We've got Groupon. Um, will be reporting today. It looks like Groupon is moving a little bit lower here at the moment, so watch that close. We've got Hershey. Hershey also seeing a little bit of, I'm not shy. I've got to type the right symbol. Hershey showing just a little bit of bearishness. Big, that's not Hershey. My goodness, there we go. Hershey gapping lower this morning, so a little bit of bearishness here on that. Uh, pushing up, as you can see, um, in the pre-market. So we've got quite a quite a um, reaction here on the Hershey report. Um, interesting situation here where we're pressing resistance. Got a little upside trend here. So keep a close eye on Hershey this morning. Interesting uh, pre-market. We've got um, Huntsman here this morning um, getting a little bit of a negative reaction. And we have WPC. So those are the notables here this morning. Looks like WPC is trying to hang in there hold on to some support this morning so watch those closely let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and I want to say thank you so much to everyone who continues to click them those thumbs up buttons and and, um, and goes through the comments and thumbs upping other people's comments um, I really appreciate that it's it's the engagement with the channel that makes a difference and you guys clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving a comment on the video helps an awful lot so thank you so much for everyone who does take time to do that and I know it gets monotonous uh, to do that I fully understand that um, on these daily videos but thank you so much for those uh, for everyone who does do that it helps the channel to continue to grow let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and I gotta tell you we still have to really take a little bit of caution and be very careful here here on some of these trades because um, there's a lot of emotion in this 
market. First off, let's take a look at something that I have a, a pretty big bias in, and that's um, energy, um, XLE. XLE yesterday gapped lower, started pushing down, but reversed right up off of that area, and we're pushing up higher here. I think this may be another potential long setup coming here in XLE, and you can see we've got some energy coming in, no pun intended there, some energy coming into it here in the pre-market, pushing on higher on XLE. So keep a close eye on that. Um, we really may have that opportunity that we can break right through that resistance in the chart. So watch that closely as energy prices or those energy stocks continue to surge higher. Um, you also are going to have to keep a pretty close eye on this. Now this can have that negative effect on energy. Um, we rallied really strongly yesterday, gapping up on our dollar as we continue to see other currencies weaken against the dollar. Now this morning, we've got a little bit of pullback starting to happen in here. So perhaps we can show another failure along this resistance and downtrend here in UUP. If that does pull back, I would look for those energy prices, those commodity prices to to be bullish um, as a result if that dollar pulls back. If that dollar strengthens, the opposite could occur. So watch that closely here on UUP. Commodities have been really fragile and very correlated here um, to uh, dollar strength, so watch that close. Now, if we take a look at um, some interesting things that happened in other energy areas of the market yesterday, um, RIG, oh my goodness, RIG took off like a rocket ship yesterday. Um, nice little consolidating move here. We were looking at that yesterday in right way options early in yesterday morning. And then this thing just got inspired and took off hard with a big pop to the upside. Now, I don't know that I would want to chase that. It'd be a long ways to a stop loss on there, but quite a lot of strength. And we do want to consider that we're pushing right up here into a significant downtrend resistance resistance in the chart. But watch that closely if that rests or pulls back or even pops through that re uh, downtrend resistance and then holds that area as support, then I would look for that next upside opportunity. We're seeing quite a bit of uh, movement into that um, oil drilling, oil exploration area. You would also might want to look into refining. Um, as we know, we're, we're hitting quite a few uh, complications with diesel shortage across the country. And as you can see, um, we're seeing some refiners um, like Halliburton pushing out here, trying to push right through to the upside. Uh, Schlumberger pushing through, um, nice little consolidating move, trying to push through to the upside. My favorite right now would be Valero. Valero um, gapped down yesterday and pushed right back up and is trying to push out of that resistance area of the chart. Nice little setup after breaking through this resistance and holding, um, holding around trend in here. So keep a close eye on Valero. It's looking pretty darn good here at the moment. Um, other places you might look, um, been quite a move in some of these cannabis plays. And cannabis pulled back pretty sharply here um, um, on Thursday, or excuse me, on Wednesday, but a big reversal here on um, uh on th excuse me, on Wednesday, on Thursday, big reversal back up. So keep an eye on that. We're still holding on to some trends in here. You could look at TLRY, CGC, um, Crone, um, um, MJ, um, some of those cannabis plays trying to perk up. They've still got a lot of work here to do to really be convincing, but they are attempting to come up out of some bottoms here. So watch that carefully. Um, another place, if you like tech, um, there's a pretty interesting thing setting up here in NVIDIA. Now, we know tech has struggled quite a bit here, but NVIDIA is trying pretty hard to hang on um, in this area. You can see we kind of gave up that trend just a little bit. We're trying to hold this support. And what makes this interesting to me, and you can see I've placed a price alert on that chart, is that chance 
that chance that we could rally toward the earnings here. We've seen a lot of that here lately in the market where we've been rallying up toward those earnings. Now, I wouldn't want to hold this in earn, through that earnings report. I would close it out before then. But watch that closely if NVIDIA can start to pick up in that area. And unfortunately, most other techs are just really pretty ugly. I would be, I, I might steer away from a lot of those. And I'm not suggesting that NVIDIA is going to buck that trend, but it is worth keeping an eye on. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for putting up with my voice this week. Hope you have a wonderful weekend with you and your family. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all the best.